Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, a very important announcement. There are more and more scientific research coming out using some of the latest technology in the last few weeks alone that are only explainable if this is a virtual reality. Which means that this man doesn't exist in the way he thinks he does. Certainly not if he wears a shirt and a suit and a tie, that's for sure. Because you're not your job, and you're not a father or a mother, you're not a woman or a man, especially you sir, neither a woman nor a man I think. I'm not sure, maybe you are, I don't know. You're not a woman, you're not a man, you're not a son, you're not a lawyer or a barrister, you're not a teacher, you're not a rabbi, you're not a priest, you're not a politician, you're none of that. What you are is the consciousness in which all of that occurs. And you have an avatar which is a digital reality, a digital avatar. Everything you are experiencing is digital, which means it comes in discrete packets. It doesn't actually flow, it comes in discrete packets, billions of pieces of information. So for example, this is just a bit of information. That's what you are, you're just walking amalgams of information. Some of you, of course, not that well developed in the area of consciousness, which is all right, because most of us aren't, myself included. You'll be glad to know. Now, if this is a virtual reality, that has very serious ramifications as to what is possible here if you become aware of that. So if you become aware that what you are sitting on is actually just a piece of digital technology, you are interacting information with the largest consciousness system of which you're part, you're just exchanging information and it is reflecting information back to you, once you realize that, you start to become a lot more aware of what's going on. So for example, you understand that this whole street is bombarding your consciousness with subconscious messages. So what goes on is, this is a digital virtual reality, a bit like the Sims game. You are in a simulation right now. Now the thing is, when you realize it's a virtual reality, what you realize is who you are is the space in which your reality occurs, which means basically it's non-physical. Yes. Who you are is not physical, and therefore, when the physical avatar, which is your body, stops working, that does not mean that the consciousness in which it arises stops working, because that's not physical, it's non-physical. Question, yes? Is the consciousness in the brain? Oh, okay, we've got a question here. There's always someone that asks a question that I don't really know the answer to, making me look like a complete fool, but that's good, because otherwise I'll get an ego. It's a good question. Isn't consciousness in the brain? What I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to uh, I get in touch with my teacher. Um, I basically have a teacher, and uh, I ask the teacher to answer difficult questions like that. Um, I do it like non-verbally, so I just close my eyes, I'll get in touch with my teacher, I'll be back with you in about 30 to 60 seconds. So, we've had the question, ladies and gentlemen, is consciousness in the brain? And before I respond my response, let's see what the people have to say. It's in your soul. What is your soul? Your spirit. Okay, what about you? Consciousness in the brain? Definitely in the brain. We've got one of those definite ones. Oh, we like the people that are definite. It's so much fun <laughs> trying to... Do you, do you, would you like to stick with that idea? Or are you ready for a new idea? Okay, it's in the brain, you, no, no, just answer the question. Do you want to stick with the idea or would you like a new idea? Um, you want to stick with that one? I'll stick with it, yeah. You'll stick with that one, okay, fine. I won't challenge you on it then, fine. Um, 
Roland, cameraman, conscious is consciousness in the brain? Yeah, but it's in a lot of other places as well. Yes, but it's in a lot of other places as well. I like it. Thank God I didn't have to actually answer the question once again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very clever technique used by people who don't really know what they're talking about. But don't worry, nobody really knows what they're talking about. Now, what I'm saying is, is that science apparently is coming, more, more and more physicists are coming to the idea that what we're experiencing is a virtual reality and therefore consciousness is not in the brain because that implies that it's physical. Consciousness is not physical. It's non-physical reality and therefore it's not in the brain. See what I'm saying? Because the brain is a physical uh, it's a f in other words, where would you say, where would you say the, um, if you're playing a game of Sims, The Sims, where are the avatars? The house. Are they? Are the avatars in the house? When you're playing on the computer, you're playing a simulation game like The Sims, yeah? They're in the RAM. They're in the RAM. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Are they? They're in the hardware. What are what are what actually are they made of? Ones and zeros. So the ones and zeros in the hardware. That that's where the sims are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I don't really know the answer. By the way, if you want to check out this kind of thing, and you want to see someone who really knows what they're talking about, go to Tom Campbell's YouTube channel. Tom Campbell on YouTube. And he'll ex explains, explains at length, at great length, how this works. If you get angry about it, you really are loopy. To get angry about digital information is a little bit loopy. But don't worry, most of us are somewhere on the scale of loopiness. Yes? We can't do anything about it. We can't do anything about it. That's a great question. Now let me just get in touch again with my source of all wisdom. Uh, I'm going to count to 60. I'd like to invite you to do the same thing, get in touch with your source of wisdom by closing your eyes, counting to 60, and ask your source of wisdom, can we do anything about it? No. Just keep with your eyes closed, remain with your eyes closed until you're ready, until you're ready. With everybody else, I want you just to enjoy the sunshine, I want you to just feel, be the witness of yourself experiencing the sunshine upon yourself. That's all I want you to do. There's no need to buy anything anymore. It's a complete and utter waste of time. It will just cause you more problems. Instead, just be present with what you've got. Just learn to be present with what you've got right now. You can choose to be absolutely okay without all that shopping, madam. Just take it back to the shops. You didn't need it. There's a Primark that way as well, you can tell they'll take it back. Anyway, have you, are you done now? You done? You done? Okay, can we do anything about it? What would you say? Can we do anything about it? No? Okay. What would you say? Can we do anything about it? Uh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. What can we do? We can change our attitude about it. We can change our attitude about it. Okay, what about you, Roland? Can we do anything about it? Good question. About what? <laughs> it. it, we are told here. Can we do anything about it? I'm just going to ask the baby. Hold on. Can we do anything about it? What do you think? She smiled. So clearly we can smile. That's basically quite similar to what you were saying. Can we do anything about it? Absolutely. Absolutely. What can we do? Change your mentality about things. Have you been successful in doing that yourself? Yeah. Tell me about it. Come, come and share with us. What have you done? What did you used to be like? And now how are you? Um, I used to be a bit materialistic. You know, I, I cared about objects and things. And now 
I understand that all of that is an illusion and that, you know, you don't need money to have a successful and fulfilling life. Great. Well, my response to it, it firstly is to ask the question that Roland asked, is can we do anything about it? What did you mean by, about it? About what? The fact that we're a simulation. The fact that we're a simulation. Uh, I would say there is absolutely nothing you can do about the fact that you are in a computer simulation game. There's nothing you can do, you can do no more about being in a simulation game than your avatar can do anything about being in The Sims. Now your avatar in The Sims might think this is ridiculous. What a stupid game this Sims. And uh, what ridiculous people I'm with. Can't you put me with some... But they can't, they may be able to sort of, you know, go to some, to some other kind of part of The Sims game, but the avatar can do nothing about getting out of the game other than perhaps committing suicide, right? Which is, by the way, what most people are doing, they just do it slowly, okay? They do it with food, they do it with drugs, they do it with alcohol, which is a drug, they do it with nicotine, which is a drug, they do it with um, uh, lots of things, okay? So, but suicide, perhaps, although, when you commit suicide, only your avatar dies, right? Then, what happens after that, it's something that you can discover, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. You can discover now what happens once your avatar dies, yeah? And this has been, is being researched at this time by lots of scientists. Not, not the majority of scientists, because majority of scientists are, are, are religious scientists. They're like in this religion called scientism, which is basically another form of dogma. But... If you're not one of those, there are physicists. Tom Campbell is one of the uh, better known physicists who has done 40 years of research into what happens when the physical avatar is no longer in operation. Okay? So the, the good news and the bad news is there's nothing to worry about. Death of your avatar is really not a problem. Yes? How can you research what happens after death? Good question. What's that? Near-death experience. Near experiences, meditation. meditation, being married to my wife. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to like, meditate and get a nice empty head. You need to get a nice empty head, yes. There's a lot of empty-headed people here though, aren't there? <laughs> yeah. you should, ladies and gentlemen, you should be really good at meditation. You're obviously not actually having any thoughts, or maybe you are, just really silly ones like let's make my skin happy by putting some cream on it like yeah right like you can imagine what it was like for the poor skin in the 1900s poor depressed and unhappy skin that didn't have any body shop vitamin c glow boosting moisturizer can you imagine what a horrible existence that must have been so any other questions or have we sorted out reality here outside the body shop Hello. Oh, question. Yes. So, is everything a hallucination then? Is everything a hallucination then? That's a very, very good question. Let's ask the people, madam, is everything a hallucination? Yes. Yes, thank you very much. What about you, sir? Yes. Yes? yes. About you? Is this just a hallucination? No, uh, I think... No? I think there's a physical world. world. You think there's a physical world, do you? Yeah, yeah I know, I thought you did. It's the hat. We support the gay people. You support the gay people? Yeah, right. Okay, fair enough. Um, there's been an experiment done with a Buddhist monk where they hooked his body up to sensors and they've proven he slowed down his heartbeat through meditation. They have scientifically proven that time itself is an illusion. The only thing that is real is the moment of now, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And when is the moment of now? Uh, madam, can you tell us when is the moment of now? You don't know? Okay, Was it, is it then? <laughs> then you were thinking of it now. <laughs> she, do, she doesn't like my... Uh, yes, go on. You appear to be a fatalist. I appeal to be... I appeal to be I, I appear to be what? A fatalist. A fatalist, if okay. If you've got to say there is no reality, you must explain what reality is. You must have worked it out. You are real. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, what this lady said is, apparently I'm a fatalist, I've been called so many different things, but never yet have I been called a fatalist, so thank you for adding to the vast repertoire of labels of which I fit into none.
Hello. Screaming man, long time no see. Yeah, how are you You've doing? Been following me. I have always, Aww. always. You know what? What are you screaming about today? Um, talking about reality and projection and virtual reality. Fuck reality. Come and join. Okay, we've got to, we've got some. <laughs> just remind me your name, so I'm really bad with names. Natasha. Natasha, that's right. Natasha, we're talking about reality, and uh, we, we, the question was, is everything a hallucination? What do you think, Natasha? Well, with the amount of drugs I've taken in my life, I'm starting to believe yes. Okay. Have you taken anything today? Not too much.